Today's project is a cleaning of a Browning BAR, an original Belgium built BAR. The barrel is very clean. I don't know if you can see this, but the bolt area is quite dirty. I did wipe it out a little bit, but it's got a bunch of old smelly grease in it. The gun has not been used in years, but I'm going to take her apart and clean it completely through. We're going to do the gas block, complete bolt. We're going to be removing the uh, trigger assembly. So just sit back and Hopefully we both learn something at the same time. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to take off the sling. Just a little button here. Just rotate. Rotate these little clips out of the way. She slides right off. And next we want to take the uh, foregrip off. Let me get a wrench for that. We'll be right back. It's a nine millimeter. We'll fit it just perfect. Crack that loose. Okay. Now you're going to see you can't remove it. It's tight. It's locked in. What you need to do is slide the bolt back. And she'll slide right out of there. Pretty piece of wood. Okay, so now you have your gas block. In here, when you fire around, gas will shoot down through here. Actuate the piston, push it in, push your bolt back, and then cycle back again. Okay, you can tell this is an old original because we need to remove this screw. The newer ones have a hex on them, so they're very easy to come off. This one has a screwdriver slot and sometimes can be a real pain in the ass. So let's uh, see if we can pop that off. got a screwdriver end again okay one other thing you want to do is as you remove your small parts put them in a container so they don't get lost Okay, she loosened up. That's a good thing. Often these don't. Okay, so this is a gas regulator. And if you looked at it really close, you'll see it has a small orifice in it. Now when the gas has come out, when the shot's fired, they come out, they push on the piston, excess gases will shoot forward. That's why often in the wood here, you'll see it blackened. Because obviously that's sitting right there. Gases come out, they'll impinge on there and light it up a little bit. Okay. We're going to release that bolt. There we go. Now we want to start pulling this assembly apart. You got these small little rails you want to pull out. 
one on each side. They're just spacer rails. They keep this mechanism up. You can see without it. Now what this does, see the see the notch on there? That just pushes right on the bolt, slides the bolt back. So this slides forward, actuates the bolt, and comes back again through the gas pressure. This is a good thing. You can see the piston coming out. Sometimes they're stuck in there pretty bad. And you can see this one here is fouled up pretty good. It's probably never been cleaned. I just keep in mind, see the slot right here? You see this little pin here? They align to each other. Just remember that when you reassemble. Now that the piston's out, you can pull this assembly out. Of course, your spring. It is being in good shape. I do not know the dimensions, what this should be. But we're actually going to put this one back in. The rod looks good. Now this rod's set up with a piece of metal here. A piece of plastic. It appears to be a piece of nylon in this area. And then another piece of metal to back that up. The rifle has been cleared. There is nothing in it. And that's a little dirty in there. We're going to clean that up really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stall. And we're going to clean those components up. And then we'll continue down. We'll remove the bolt and the tri uh, trigger assembly. But I just want to do it in stages. Make sure we don't get ahead of ourselves. Okay, normally what I'll do when I clean a dirty gun like this, I'll use uh, Barbasol. It's a shave cream. It actually cuts really good, but it needs to be rinsed off, and I didn't want to get any of these components wet. So we're going to not use that. What we will use is the uh, Birchwood Casey Gun Scrubber. First, we're going to go after this piston. I'm just using a soft toothbrush. Loosen up all the carbon. This cleaner does a good job. It breaks it all up. brass brush here. Get off some stubborn spots. And the outside cleaned up nice.
Now this slot here, that actually lines up with the gas block on the barrel. So when you fire around, the gases come in here and causes this piston to move. Pretty simple. I'm going to clean this rod up. I'm going to try not to get any of the chemical on the plastic because I'm not sure what plastic it is and some polymers will get damaged if they make contact with a solvent. Again, we just got a small brass rod here, brass brush, I'm sorry. Spring doesn't look too bad. And now we'll just wipe these components off. Two metal tabs on the ends. Real good. Reassemble those and the plastic and the metal. And then these bars we're just going to wipe down. Now, depending on who you listen to. They uh, recommend no oils or greases down on any of these components. I will be putting a light coat. I'm just going to use the Remington lubricant. I find in my AR it works well. It doesn't bake up and get destroyed. Okay, last piece. See, a lot of these components aren't too, too bad. Okay, that pretty much takes care of those. Oh, we got the uh, you see it's a gas regulator. And this I'm going to put a uh, little bit of lock uh, anti seize on the threads when I assemble it because these have a tendency of getting stuck and this whole end will get destroyed. So we'll put that on, then we'll take the heat and we'll degrade like an oil will. putting on. It's a anti seize lubricant. Not a lot. We're just going to uh, apply a slight amount to the threaded area. That 
second one on. Uh, we'll clean that up a little bit before we do screw it on. Okay. Let's bring the rifle back over. Okay, now we're going to clean the gas block up. This I'm not going to be too crazy with. It looks pretty good. It does have some carbon in it. So we will uh, get in there with the scrubber. Clean that out. As you can see. But that's normal. That's, um, the round goes off. You get all that powder burn coming up through there. And that's why this should be cleaned out. Probably once a year if you use the gun a lot. Maybe every six months. Now we're going to try to get this bolt piece out. When you slide this back, you'll see there's a tin cover over this. There's a little tin cover there. When you slide it back, it should relieve itself. See that? Okay, on the uh, little tab to slide the bolt back, there's a little clip in there, a little spring-loaded clip, see that? So what you need to do is, I use a small piece of copper, come in underneath that tab, and push it up, slide it forward, and she'll pop right out in your hands. Clean that up a little bit. A little bit more carbon on it than I thought it would. Okay. A little gun oil on it put it in our parts okay now we want to get the trigger assembly and the bolt out what we need to do there is we've got to remove the buttstock pad this has two regular wood screws on it one very small on this perfect last screw on the buttstock pad a little dirty not bad we'll clean that up okay now we need to Get down in there, you can see it with a big screwdriver. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there is a standard screw. You just want to make sure you do hit on the screw. And we're in. And it wasn't that tight, and it shouldn't be real tight. There we 
go. And now we got the butt plate there. The screw goes in. There's your screw. And the next step is I'm going to remove or drop this plate. And it's easy when I use the screw for it. Get down like that. Here comes your plate. I think it's an aluminum plate. It's very, very light. But that just fits in a dovetail here, and that's what holds the stock on. Pretty simple. I'm going to leave that out. i got to clean that up. Okay, now your trigger group should slide right out. There it is. There you go. She's pretty dirty. We'll blow it all out with air. And pretty much leave it alone. I am not going to disassemble that. There's your hammer. That's what hits your firing pin. Now with that out, the bolt just slides out the back end. You got this tin plate on here, which pops on, pops off. Sometimes easier said than done. Let me see if I need. Uh, I got these little plastic tools I use for the computer. Those are not going to give me enough. Let me find a piece of brass for that. Okay, we've got a piece of brass here. Let's see if we can pop this off. You have to put an edge on it. One side of this comes off a lot easier than the other side. There it is. Yeah, so it's just a little tin cover. Clean that up. That has a lot of carbon on it. Okay, now we need to get the firing pin out, which is right here. That's it. So this here, we have a pin very similar to what we have in an AR. But before you do that, Got a drift pin up here. Up you can see. That one looks perfect. I'm going to try this on a soft piece of plastic. See how she does. in a little bit. Okay. So we have her on the run. See the pin starting to move. Be real careful. This pin's very small. And we'll try to run away. There we go. Yeah. 
That pin is a little baby. See how small that is? So we'll keep that in here so it doesn't run away. Okay, so now you got the pin removed. Iron pin slides out. And there you go. Clean that up. And now this pin will just slide right out. Just like in an AR. And then you got the bolt comes out. Yeah, she's all tarnished up. That's all right. We'll clean her up really good. And again, this is just a bronze brush. And this plate is aluminum. Really not much that's going to mar up the uh, bolt assembly. All the lugs on here look really nice. No galling, no marks on it. Looks like everything was working really nice. Okay, we're going to take some compressed air, blow that out. Uh, one other thing you want to do is make sure your shell extractor spring and everything is smooth. This one's smooth and robust. Okay. Clean up the firing pin. Now you can order a lot of these parts from Browning Direct. You can also find a lot of them on um, Amazon. Yeah, that looks good. See the varnish on this. A lot of that's caused by oils that just overheated. But she's in pretty good shape. We'll lube all these up before we reassemble them. Mm, the spring is fairly clean. Reassemble that with the Firing pin. And this is pretty goofy. This we will move up really good. compressed air over here. I'm in the house I'll clean this up with a
I'll clean it up with a uh, compressed air out of a can. Closer outside. In my garage. Then we got the compressor. Still kind of varnish here on here. Soak this up a little bit. Boy, that spray works good. Cut right through that varnish. Nice. You're going to get a few more Q-tips. That's going to need it. Okay. These little pin sets, punch sets work great. Bought these online. Pretty much disassemble all the rifles, pistols I have. And they're not just a straight, they actually have a ball at the end. Makes them nice to work with. Less damage to the firearm. Okay. nice okay firing pin back in the hole get that pin right push it to line it up Yeah, so see the firing pin needs to go through this hole. So you just need to make sure when you put this in, you're keeping the hole exposed to the pin. There we go. Beautiful. Again, when you put the pin in, you want to make sure the radius lines up. There we go. Nice. No burrs. Operating slick as can be. And everything's clean. Yeah, we can put this cover back on now too. Give that a quick 
for it. I really don't want a lot of oil on it. Just a thin coat. The cover needs to just slide freely on there. Okay, that's done. Wipe the excess off. Okay, so that takes care of the bolt assembly. Again, we'll roll up our pins one more time. Okay. Now we just want to clean out in here. As you can see, it's kind of gummy. So we just put a little spray in there. And then just wipe it all out, clean the lugs out, clean this rail out. Just got some old varnishy crud in there. Maybe I'll hit it with a little air first. An old toothbrush works well. Or a new one. All plastic, it doesn't damage anything. But the bristles do uh, dig in pretty good. Okay, let's do that grunk, gunk. Okay, one last blow. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of oil. And then we're going to go in and wipe all the excess out. Again, you don't want a lot of oil in here. Keep it on your moving parts. But you want enough oil to uh, prevent any oxidation. And uh, obviously these rails here. Okay, we got the bolt assembly in. Working nice and smooth. Slide the trigger assembly in. Did not want to pull the trigger on that. And now it's stuck. Open. Let's set back up. Okay. Now we want to get the tailpiece back in. The 
threaded rod will help with that. go. This is a little painful. We got it. Now we want to go up front, work on the gas block and the piston assembly.
Okay. Now, put a mag back in. See with the mag back, you got the cam open. Drop this in. Should fit in the dovetail. <laughs> Should fit in the dovetail. Make sure that sleeves forward. Slide it back. Go right over that groove. Because it's going to be a book around me now. There we go. And she dropped in. She's fine. Much smoother. So far, so good. back should slide right back on there we go put this baby back on Another reason why I noticed a little rust in there earlier. Okay. Now you just want to tighten this up so the hole aligns. And that should do it right there. Beautiful. Okay. Let's put the buttstock back on. Actually. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Boy, why not shine it up a little bit? Doesn't need it, but makes it look better. There we go. These screws. I'm going to put a little coat on them also. They did have a little bit of rust on them.
just going to wipe her down real good. Another issue we have is with the scope. There's a, I don't know if you can hear this, Is that grinding noise. Yeah, right there. There's something wrong internally. We'll try to fix it. If not, we'll just replace the scope. But, all looks good. Functioning just fine. Everything's nice and clean and slickery. Good to go.